what's up miners so in today's video i'll share with you the difference between both the gpus that is zotac amd and msi which you must have seen in my mining rig so um let's first connect to mining machine So before I start mining, let's first go into hardware details. Um, we have two GPUs here. First GPU is configured to mine Equihash and the second GPU is also configured for the same. I have kept both the GPU at the uh, stock settings so that it will be easy to benchmark. As you can see, memory clock is zero, core clock is zero, the power limit is reduced to um, 75%. Um, everything remains the same for the second GPU as well. So let's have a check on the power usage. Uh, in idle scenario, the first GPU, that is the Zotac, consumes around 9 to 10 watt. Um, now the second GPU, that is MSI, consumes around 8 to 10 so the total power consumption comes around 20 to 30 watt the power drawn from socket is around 40 watt which uh, okay so the value is coming around 40 watt because uh, it not only includes the power consumption from the graphics card but also includes from the other components so guys let's start mining um, now the graphics cards are mining Equihash. So I am getting the hash rate at around 857. Um, the Zotac graphics card is consuming power of around 165. Uh, the MSI graphics card power consumption is around 170. Uh, as you can see, the power drawn from socket is around 400 watt, which is more than the total power consumption, which was 335 watt, which we had seen in the uh, software. Okay, so we observed this difference because the software shows the power consumption of graphics card only. So we have to add a uh, uh, plus or minus 15 and also have to include the other component power to get the approximate power consumption value So now let's start mining individually and check the performance of the graphics card So for that I will disable the MSI and enable Zotac which is configured for Equihash algorithm Before mining, the power usage is around 12. So let's start mining now. Okay, as you can see, the hash rate is gradually increasing to 430. Okay, 435. And the power consumed is around 169. Um, now if we check the power drawn from the socket, it is around 220 watt, which includes power used by the other graphics card. So now we will repeat the same for MSI. The power consumption before mining is 10 watt. Okay, so I'll start mining now. Um, the hash rate is increasing to 440 and the power consumed is around 175 watt. So let's have a look on the power drawn from socket. Okay, it's around 230 watt. Okay, let me enable all the algorithms and graphics card. Okay, so for the for this demo purpose only, I had enabled only the Equihash. As an observation, I felt that the MSI card is better than the Zotac for mining purpose as it uh, 
has a comparatively better hash rate. MSI card remains at uh, temperature around 60 degrees uh, with the same settings the Zotac goes till 70 which means the MSI is cooler than the Zotac graphics card but the Zotac graphics card comes with free extended warranty unlike the MSI card. So since my machine is running 24 7 so having a graphics card with better warranty card uh, with a better warranty counts a lot. So hope this video was helpful to identify which graphics card to purchase in future and if you like to purchase then um, you can find the links in the description box below. Uh, please don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Thank you and happy mining.